genomic medicine is really applying genomic technology to the study of diseased genomes to learn more about the genetic underpinnings of disease and to help diagnose and treat disease. We think about cancer in terms of changes to DNA and how that can take a normal cell to a cancerous cell. And using the technologies that we have now and the analytics, we can answer that question in a myriad of ways and really understand the genomic underpinning of cancer. Once we understand that, we can understand better ways to treat the disease. So we have two different data requirements for this project. The first is to deliver results quickly to the physicians. The other one is being able to share that data with the greater scientific community. The second that one of our scientists signs out or our clinical directors sign out the report, an event goes from there to our system and we have a set of step functions that work through and de-identify every single piece of data that we're doing. We then use uh, another set of step functions to transfer that data over to our friends at CCDI, part of the NIH. We're also doing this immediately. So this is very unusual. Usually you have data you deliver every six months, you deliver that kind of thing. We deliver nearly the moment the data is signed out from the clinical director. So my priority is to get the patient a diagnosis as quickly as possible so that more decisions can be made by the treating physician. So really, you know, we we put together a pathology report in the first few days after a patient has surgery. We as physicians understand that there's a certain amount of time that things have to take, but when it's your family and it's your child going through it, speed is incredibly, incredibly important. The ability for us to take this tissue and be able to really give a comprehensive look at it through our analysis and then be able to turn it around so quickly and give it back, it helps these patients because we're able to give them an answer quickly and that really helps them not kind of stay in limbo for a long time of how do we treat this. The sooner and the faster we can get information back to them and to their physicians, the better. And um, our turnaround times are, are incredible here. So I'm really proud of, of all the work that we've done here uh, for that because it's really making a difference in patient care. So we have been serverless here uh, for probably six or seven years. We were very early adopters of just the general mindset of not having servers running when we didn't need them. For this project, we were leaning on step functions, which is sort of the backbone of all of our pipelines. And from there, we integrate with a number of different things, Lambda, Batch, ECS, different things for different algorithms that are required. The best part about everything is that we can also use event bridge. So we have an event-driven architecture. So we can add new tests as they come along, or we can add new features without worrying about changing our clinical pipeline, which has already been validated. I've been in technology for a long time. I've written a lot of software over many years and decades. And this is by far the project that I am most proud of because it makes a real difference. So every day I get to get up, and I know that somewhere out there there's a kid that we're helping with this. And I've, I've never been a part of anything like it. And it's, it's amazing.